Hi, good morning grade two students. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a value cake. And the value cake is going to be sitting on a platter, so it will be propped up. And this is what you're going to be doing during our class time today. So you will see us in the classroom starting off with imagination time. And I will type the prompt in the chat for all of you. And then you spend about five minutes on the imagination prompt. And then you're going to start this project. So on Wednesday, we talked a lot about value and how to shade the sphere. So today, what you're going to do is you're going to apply what you learned on Wednesday, but you're going to apply it to a cake. So I'm going to show you how to draw the cake step by step. So you need a blank piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser. And if you have some colored pencils, that would also be good for today. So the first thing you do is you're going to make an ellipse. Okay, the ellipse is, let me grab a colored pencil, this shape right here. Okay, that's the first shape we're going to make. So I'm going to come to uh, the middle of my paper and sometimes if it's helpful you can put in a horizontal line to start like that to help you make the ellipse. So then you move from one end to the other and you make a curved line like that on top and then a curved line on the bottom. Okay. And then you can erase out the middle line from the center. Okay, because it was just a guideline. And you can take some time to sort of touch up your ellipse, make sure it's rounded like this, like that. Okay. So that's the ellipse for the top of the cake. And then on either side, you're going to put two parallel lines like this. So we're going to go straight down on this side and straight down on this side. Okay. And you can kind of decide how big you want the cake to be. Okay, and have it be about like that. And then I'm going to put a curved line on the bottom, connecting this point with this point. Okay, and there's the general shape for our cake. Now there's going to be a piece missing from the center of the cake. So we're going to find the middle of this ellipse up here. And I'm going to put a dot right in the middle, in the middle of that ellipse. Okay. Now I'm going to make a diagonal line out, like a triangle, and a diagonal line out, like that. Okay. And it came right to the edge of my ellipse, to the edge of my cake. Okay. Now I'm going to come straight down. All right, now, okay, from here, from the bottom of the cake, I'm going to make a diagonal line in, like that, and I'm going to make another diagonal line in to meet it, like this, okay. Now I can erase out this curved line here, okay, and I can erase out this curved line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this point up to this point with a straight line. And here we go. Okay. So this is a cake drawn okay, with a piece, a slice missing from the middle. Now I'm going to add the platter that the cake is sitting on. So I'm going to come from the sides of the cake here. Okay, and I'm going to make an ellipse shape around. Like that, okay. This is going to be the platter that the cake is on. 
and the platter or it's like a kind of like a standing elevated plate has a lip or an edge to it so I'm going to add that in right here few touch-ups as you need to. Okay. All right, and the last thing I can add is a nice little stand. Okay, so two vertical lines there, okay, going down. And then lastly, one more ellipse, kind of curving. I'm running out of room a bit along the bottom here. And I'm gonna zoom in so everyone can see. Okay, so it's, this is kind of the cake stand. It's what's supporting the platter that's holding your cake. Okay, all right. Now it's time to do the shading work on your cake. So I'm going to put in some layers inside I'm going to do some diagonal lines right here to demonstrate the different layers of the cut piece of cake. Okay. And they match up on the other side of the cake. So you see how they line up with each other? Okay, and they're drawn at the same angle. Now what I did is I did a value scale here on the, the cut piece, the, the piece that's missing from the cake. And so you can see it starts off dark and then it gets lighter as it moves towards the top. And you can also do this with colored pencils if you want your cake to have some color to it. So if you would like to do it with colored pencils, what you need to find is a range of value in terms of your color. So here, I have a dark red, and then I'm going to work my way to lighter colors. So now this is a light kind of pink. Okay. This one's even lighter. And then it doesn't look like I have a white, but maybe I'll end with a really light yellow. So it's still a range of values, just using colors instead of your regular pencil. So I'm going to start with my darkest color here at the bottom and push really hard with my colored pencil. Like that. Okay, and I can do it on the other side too. And now it's going to get lighter. Each layer as it goes up the cake is getting lighter in value. So you could also do this with blues too. You could work your way from a dark blue to a light blue or with green or with browns. Maybe it depends on the flavor you want to do for your cake. This is going to be like a red velvet cake, I think, is what I'm making right now. Okay, working our way into lighter colors, a lighter red. So I'm pushing less hard now with my colored pencil because I want the value to be getting lighter. Okay. And then this last layer I'm gonna do is like a yellow, like a very light yellow. And as you can see, I have two more layers that I kind of need to figure out what I'm going to do. So maybe 